My name is Derek Mikulski. I'm a personal trainer and the creator of the Active Motion Bar. As personal trainers, we know that in order to develop a high level of fitness, our clients need to have sound neuromuscular coordination, sufficient strength throughout their entire body, and be free of joint and muscle inhibitions. Just like an athlete, they need to quickly be able to assess the external environment, process the sensory input, tell their body what to do through their brain, and have their body respond efficiently through coordinated activation of their muscles. If they can't control their body, then we simply cannot expect them to progress towards their fitness goals. Unfortunately, we often observe movement deficiencies and lack of coordination in many of our clients. These flawed neuromuscular movement patterns are often rooted in the client's muscular weaknesses and inability to connect their mind with their muscles to activate them. Left uncorrected, these deficiencies cause the client to move inefficiently, making them frustrated with their fitness program, and worse, setting them up for a lifetime of flawed movement, which can lead to injury and prevent them from reaching their goals. Because of this, I saw the need for a change in the way we train our muscles and a change in the way we think when we train. I envisioned a fitness tool and program that would provide people with a training stimulus that maximized the body's senses to build neuromuscular connectivity while helping establish kinetic chain or total body strength, not just from the ground up, but from every perspective. The Active Motion Bar was developed to do just that. The Active Motion Bar is a fitness tool that looks like a standard fitness bar, but in fact is very different. It's hollow and inside the hollow bar are round steel weights that glide smoothly and gently within. These free-moving weights inside the active motion bar are what create a stimulus to the body that helps develop kinesthetic awareness and strength. During exercises where the user attempts to keep the bar parallel with the floor, they are forced to activate their mind, core, and underactive stabilizers and global muscles as they hear and feel the unstable load pull them out of position. During multiplanar exercises where the user is bending and twisting with the bar, they are taught how to integrate movement through their entire core with their extremities to establish sound mind muscle connectivity and total body strength. During these exercises, momentum generated by the weights inside the bar pulls them further into the exercise, taking advantage of the musculotendinous elastic component. Before explaining the progressive disruptive training system built around the active motion bar, I want to first give you two basic instructions to keep in mind when using the bar with clients or on your own. First, unless otherwise noted, always grip the active motion bar on the white center of balance grip marks located at roughly shoulder width distance on the bar. Gripping the bar on these marks will ensure that the mass of the bar is distributed equally across the body. Next, during exercises where the active motion bar is kept close to parallel with the floor, for example, a hinge row or a split balance press, the idea is to keep the bar as stable as possible while the internal weights always slightly shift. Due to the unstable nature of the bar, clients will not be able to keep it perfectly centered still in parallel with the floor. Instead, they should always feel and hear the weights inside the bar move slightly as they engage in the exercise. Hi, I'm Robert Sherman, and I'm excited to introduce you to an innovative training experience that combines a radical new product, the Active Motion Bar, with a unique, disruptive training system. You will experience exercises that target your core, balance, and strength. The exercises contained within this workout are designed to progressively build movement quality through three phases that make up disruptive training. These phases are to disrupt, discover, and define. Using the active motion bar with its hollow center filled with rolling weights facilitates muscle activation, total body integration, and drives momentum, thus creating reactive movements that you can sense, feel, hear, unlike any other training you've ever experienced. The active motion bar combined with disruptive training will awaken connections that will challenge and benefit anyone looking to improve health, fitness, and performance. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Robert Sherman and welcome to the Active Motion Bar Training System Cycle 1. With me today 
is Derek, the inventor and creator of the Active Motion Bar, and Jody, a certified personal trainer. Let's get started. The first exercise starts down on your mats. Once you come down, bring the Active Motion Bar against your legs and find the two lines that represent the center. Lie back slowly, and as you lie back, bring the bar up above your chest. Bring your legs up to touch the bar and press the bar into your thighs. Now by pressing into the thighs, you're gonna feel a muscle activation, but I want that bar to feel stable. The weight in the bar may start to roll, but I want you to hold it steady. First exercise, flex both ankles. The front leg is gonna tap the floor first. Lower the heel and lift. In this exercise with the heel tap, back leg and lift. You're gonna feel the activation against the bar immediately, so if you don't move your thighs, you're gonna feel the work increase. As you feel the intensity, hold that activation two more times. Now, when the back leg touches down, lift the shoulders up, hold the head and shoulders, continue to tap right, and lift, back leg touch, and down. Two more with the upper body elevated, and feel the increasing intensity. Last rep, hold the legs up, lower your body down slowly. Place the feet on the floor, Quick recovery. Hold the bar centered above your chest. As you hold the bar steady, bring your legs back up just in line over your hips. Bring the bar over your head, reach back. Pull over. As the bar is moving, you may feel the weight start to tip the bar one way or the other. As the bar rolls, you're gonna feel the need to stabilize. Let's lift the head and shoulders up. Legs extend as the bar reaches back and pull back in. Pull over, tuck. Notice the bar, keep the connection to the activation, maintain the grip, hold that energy two more times. Reach back, pull over, one more long extension for the challenge. Pull back in, hold here, lie back to the floor. Let's lower the bar for the next exercise, we're gonna stand up. In this last core exercise, separate your feet between hip and shoulder distance apart. Once again, find the lines with both hands. Take your right arm up, Left arm down, center the bar with your body, feel your hips move back as you lower down, sink the bar and your body as one. Lift up, rotate the bar, and drop. These are steering wheel squats. As you rotate and as you lower, you're gonna hear the weight roll inside the bar. Let that happen. As a matter of fact, as you increase intensity, moving up and down, notice how when the weight shifts in the bar, it wants to pull your body. Challenge that rotation, Challenge your deep squat. Let's do two more. Drop, last one, and come up and stand. Let's move on to balance. Let's come back to our mats. As you lower down, position your body on your back where you were before. Find the lines with the hands and lie back slowly. Place the bar with the straight arm above your shoulders. In this position, you are gonna feel the bar and the weight inside wanting to roll. Walk your feet a little closer together and moving into a bridge. Raise the middle, lift your hips. As your hips come up, notice the challenge. Just to keep the bar centered is already working. Forward leg, your front leg extends out, keeping the knees close together. Hold that position. When the work increases, try to maintain that sense of control and stability. Lower the hips and lift. As we stay on the same leg, you're gonna feel that back leg working hard. The one that's on the ground is challenging and keeping those hips parallel is intense. One more repetition. Slowly down, come up and hold that position. Bend your top, lift the back leg, hold those knees together, lower and lift. As you move your hips, a wonderful challenge is to feel the muscles stay tight. Feel the engagement and the activation of the muscles that stabilize your hips and your core as one. One more time, lift those hips up and hold, bend the knee, lower your body down, and we're gonna come to the next exercise, lower the bar into standing. As you lift your body up, bring the bar just in front of your body. This time, feet together. Tap your left toe behind you. As you tap that toe, that becomes not only a balance point, but also a kickstand. Hinge forward, feel that nice long extension through your back, bar comes up into your body, Lower the bar back down and come back up to standing. Hinge forward, feel that nice little reach. Pull the bar, lower the bar and come up. Let's take an added challenge by picking up that back leg. Hinge forward, hold that contraction, 
Lift the arms, lower, and lift. I wonder if we can do this as one fluid motion. Hinge, row, lower, and lift. Hinge, row those arms, lower, and lift, switch legs. Well done. As you place that foot, kick the other leg back, nice and strong, feel that little hinge. Come forward, row the bar, lower the bar, and lift your body. In the bar, if the weight begins to roll, try to center it, try to feel that nice, strong contraction, and let's pick up that back leg as you hinge forward. Lift the bar, lower the bar, and lift your body. Again, two more times. Hinge forward, lift, lower, and extend. Last one. Hinge, lift, lower, and recover. Nice work. Next exercise, a little more exciting and a lot more challenging. Leave your right leg in place, bring your left leg back. We're gonna start in the hinge where we started to finish the last exercise. Hinge forward. Pick up your back leg and hold. Now remember, the weight will move inside that bar. As you reach the bar, off to your right. Do that nice long extension and then shift to the other side. Shift to the other side. Now you're gonna hear, you're gonna feel the weight in the bar rolling from side to side and challenging that stability. For a little more challenge, pick up that back leg a little higher. Continue to rotate side to side. Feel the momentum inside the bar. One more to your left. And come on up, we'll switch legs. Reset that foot, kick the other leg back, hinge forward, find that nice long extension. Pick up the back leg for your challenge. You always have the option of keeping that toe on the floor. Lift up and hold. Look to your left, reach the bar out, hold the activation, to the right. To the left. Now as you move from side to side, a little more angle creates a little more momentum, and when you feel the balls rolling, and you feel the weight shifting from side to side, you're gonna know all that stability inside your hip, your knee, your ankle, and your core is working. Let's do two more. Off to the right, off to the left, come up tall, and let's move into strength. Seated leg lift. Let's come back to our mat. As you sit down on the mat, reposition your hands on the bar. Stay in a seated position, and as you elevate the upper body, bring the bar centered across the shoulders in front of your torso. Now here, as you lie back slowly, you're gonna feel a deep muscle activation all the way across the midsection, trying to keep your back stable, and come straight back up. This alone is challenging, but we have a little more to go. Hinge back, and lift straight up. The front leg, as you come up, is going to lift forward as you rotate the bar, extend. Come back down, back leg. Lift and turn. Truly reach the bar and extend as you're coming up and feel that nice integrated pattern. You're gonna hear the weight inside the bar moving and you're gonna feel the activation of your torso working every time you come up. Lower down to increase the intensity. Pick up that foot up a little higher and feel that nice lift and rotation. One more time. Drop, lift and hold. Stay right there and come down. Well done. I want us to come up for the next exercise. Lift your body, and in this strength section, we're gonna keep the idea of rotation happening. Leave your right foot in front, left leg back. Drop into a lunge and lift the bar back up. Now we're gonna build on that last exercise that we just created. Your back leg is gonna come forward. Lift the knee up, extend the leg out, and rotate the bar just like you did on the floor. Pull back in and come right back to that lunge. Same leg, let's do it again. Lift. You feel the weights moving in the bar, that's exactly what should be happening. When you start to pick up the pace, your body, the rotation, the muscles are all gonna be challenged. A little faster, lift, reach, center, and lunge. Lift, reach, center. Last one, we'll switch legs. And come back, well done. Left foot in front, reset that back foot, come down no, lift and point. Reach, come back to center. Lift that knee up. Reach out, pull back in, and center. With this cross touch, the bar is beginning to get that challenge, and when you feel the weight move, fight against it, keep it stable. Last one, and control. Beautiful, last exercise, come to center. Feet hip distance apart. Bring the bar past your right side, all the way down, lower your hips. You're gonna lift the bar up and over your body as you come up, and paddle to the other side. Lift, and paddle, lift, and paddle. Now as you move, the challenge here is that you can hear the weight rolling, 
you can hear your body and you can feel that connection to the movement, the weight, and the synergy, and the flow. Your body actually starts to feel like you're moving in synchronized form with that bar. Let's do two more. Big squat reach. Last one. And hold. Well done. In that cycle, we handle the core, balance, and strength all the way through. Well done. The Active Motion Bar Training System Cycle 2. Let's get started. Let's come down onto our mats. As you come onto the mats, bring the bar in front of you. And as you lie down, bring your torso down on top of the mat. Place the hands right where those lines are. You can line up very quickly and very easily. Now draw your hips down into the floor. Do your shoulders draw back. And notice as you grip the bar, you're holding it evenly with the shoulders pulled back and down. From this starting position, I want you to lift the upper body with the bar, hold onto that position, and you feel that back extension. Holding that extension, maintain a nice strong activation, and let's lower back down. Lift again. As you lift this time, feel the shoulders pull back a little harder, activating those legs all the way through your mid-back, come back down. Lift the right leg this time, that front leg as you lift your body, and hold that position. Maintain the activation, lie back down. Let's do the back leg. Lift and hold. Feel that strong connection to the bar while it's quiet and stable, low back down. Lift again right, elevate, and come back down. Last one back leg, lift up and hold. Hold that position and come back down. Good, take a second to relax. Moving to the next exercise is an extension of the one we just did. We're going into a back extension with the press. This time, I want you to elevate both legs together, keeping both toes pointed. Draw the hips down, lift your body and the bar. Feel the bar quiet as you extend the arms forward. Come back in and lower back down. How's it feeling, guys? Lift, extend forward, pull back in. This exercise is challenging in order to keep the bar moving with your body and staying quiet. Back in. Let's do one more. Elevate, hold that contraction, extend the arms forward, pull back in, and lie back down. Let's press ourselves up, moving to the next exercise. Come standing behind your bar. And as you do, start with your feet together. Bring the bar past your left hip. As you drop into that little squat, this is called an arc swing. When you move the bar up, reach the arms and extend over your body, reach back, look over the shoulder and see where the bar moves. Come back center, you're gonna hear the weight inside the bar. Again, swing up and over, come right back down, Let's create a little more speed. Lift and return. Now there's one level challenge here that we haven't done yet. We're gonna lunge back with your left leg. Reach and return. Here, the weight rolling inside the bar and feel the muscles preparing to engage every time when you hear it and feel it. Let's switch sides. Come down and hold. Move the bar past that right hip. Just the arms now, no legs. Reach, come back. Within that rotation, feel your entire body and the weight inside the bar moving. Last one without the leg. Now hold here for just a second. We're gonna lunge back with that right leg and move the bar. Let's do this together. Lunge and rotate, come back to center. Lunge and rotate, come back to center. You can increase by reaching those arms high, dropping a little deeper, last one, and come center. Great core challenge. Hold right here, moving to balance. Just drop your knees on top of your mat. Now we're gonna stay on the right leg and we're gonna step the left leg out to the side. Bring the bar back in line with your shoulders, holding the bar center on those lines. Now, look to your left, step that leg out to the side, maintain the balance, point that toe, come back in. Switch sides, reach, hold, pull back in, switch sides. In this kneeling side step, feel how controlling the bar and the weight inside is getting more and more challenging. Every time you lift, you've got to stabilize and balance on that standing knee. That's it. Reach, one more time. Extend, come back center, and hold. Now, standing up. Lift your body, and move into a split lunge. Right leg forward, left foot back. Bring the bar up, hold the bar at the shoulder height. Now drop into that lunge. 
When you bring your body up, I want you to come from two feet to one foot. Lift that left leg, press the bar, lower the bar, and let's try that again. If you notice how hard it is to keep that bar quiet, moving with your body in line, reach down, lift, extend, lower. Let's get one more on this side. How's it feeling, everybody? Big time challenge. Last one, switch feet. Well done. As you press, think about extending those arms fully. Drop into that split, lift from two feet to one. Extend the bar up, lower, and return. Again, lift, find that balance challenge with the bar, control that position, lift and elevate, work through that extension, maintain the balance in that bar. Let's get two more reps. Drive down, lift straight up. Last one, elevate, come up and hold. Come down slowly, and let's move into the next exercise. Combined steering wheel. Right foot forward, left foot back. Let the arms hang down underneath your shoulders. We're gonna move into a hinge and lift that right arm as we move forward. Lift the right arm, hold that position. Rotate the other way, left arm comes up. Maintain your balance, pull the bar into your body and lift that back leg. Extend, right arm goes up, left arm goes up, pull back in. And remember, you can always tap that back foot on the floor, giving yourself a little balance and stability when you need it most. Feel the weight moving inside the bar, challenging all that stability. Reach right arm up, left arm rotates, come back center, one more. Reach and turn, right arm, left arm, pull back in and switch sides. Left foot, right leg back, hinge forward, reach now, left arm turns up and holds, Rotate to the other side, come back center, and pull that knee straight under the body. Left arm hold, right arm hold, pull back center, and hold. Give yourself that option of putting that back foot on the floor, control that position, and let's do two more. Left arm up, right arm. Feel the weight move inside the bar. You can hear it, challenge it, pull in and hold, and let's recover. Whoo, moving into strength. First exercise, come down on our mats. I want you to lie on your right side. Bring the elbow down and extend the bar down your body. Put the bar on the top foot. And with the back leg, the bottom leg, I want you to hold yourself underneath. You're gonna lift the leg and the bar at the same time, holding that position. Now let's lift your hips. Move into the side plank. Feel the bar stay stable. Lower back down. Elevate. How's it feeling, guys? Lower back down. In control. Lift and move as one body and feel the bar stay in control. If you feel the weight start to move, you can always correct by working through that challenge. Lift up, hold right there, and let's switch sides. Come down slowly. Bring the legs over. Extend the bar down on the top leg. Bend the bottom leg underneath. Hold the bar with the top hand and flex that ankle. Lift the hips, hold yourself in that side plank position, and you're gonna feel the weight roll inside that bar. Keep control, lower the hips down, and return. Side plank lift, and lower. This is a great opportunity to feel the strength and the bar and your body work together as one. Lift, and lower. Last time on this side, lift up and hold. Your challenge is to stabilize. Feel that bar quiet, feel your body working in, and recover back down. Let's stand up for the next exercise. Once you find the lines, once again on top of the bar, Feel your hands grip the bar and hold. This is called a side lunge press. Starting with the feet together, we're gonna lunge off to that right side. Now when you move right, we're gonna take the hands right up in line with the shoulders. Step into that lunge, reach and turn your body, press the bar forward, pull back in, and come back to center. Let's do that again with a little more momentum. Step right, press the bar, pull back in, and return. Let's make it one smooth action. Step and press, return, and recover. Lunge and press, and return. Lunge and press, and return. Lunge and press, come back center, and hold. Notice the weight moving in the bar, and I want you to really live to keep that bar strong, straight, and centered. Let's step off to the left. Hold, rotate and press, pull back in, and return. Step and hold, press the bar, pull back in, and return. Let's pick up that pace. Step, and return. Now as you feel the weight moving inside the bar, 
Try to stabilize it and feel the need for both arms, back muscles, shoulders to work together. Drive out, pull in, last one, reach and press, and come back to center. Well done. Skater swings. Being as this is a challenging exercise, we'll start slow and develop a little control. Step to your right. Now all you're gonna do is take that back leg, reach behind, and rotate your body, and feeling the weight move down through the bar. Step out, other leg behind, reach across and hold. Come back, skate, and reach. Step, squat, reach. Step, cross, reach. Now let's see if we can't pick up the pace. Step, swing, step, swing. Step, swing, step, two more times. Here, the weight moving inside the bar. Challenge that position. And for a little more advanced challenge, don't put that back foot down. Reach, reach, extend. Last one each side. Come back and recover. Well done. That was cycle two. Core, balance, and strength with the active motion bar. Let's get started with cycle three. In this first exercise, we're gonna come down on our mats. As we come down on our mats, I want you to place the bar between your feet and your knees. You're gonna hold the bar with your back hand towards the top of the bar, and then the other hand just positioned comfortably on top. As I come down to work with Jody, we're gonna create rotation with this exercise and the bar itself is gonna remain stable. In this position, I'm gonna help apply pressure to the bar, and as I apply pressure, it's gonna to try to torque or rotate her legs. And Jody's gonna resist, and she's feeling the muscles work across her midline in order to do that. Let's reverse to the other side. I'm gonna pull on the bar, as she would, and pulling across challenges those muscles to keep the core stable and the bar quiet and in line. Let's try that again. Press, increasing the intensity by keeping the pressure hard and intense. Switch. As you feel that bar quiet and stabilize through, you're gonna feel those muscles rock in that core. How's it feeling, Jody? <laughs> One more time. Let's do it. Feel that activation, feel that deep internal work, and relax. Well done. Now, let's move to the next exercise, and all we have to do is lie on our side. As we move on to our side, I want you to place the bar on your bottom leg this time. Flex the ankle at the bottom, pulling the toes up, bring the top leg over. As you move that top leg on top, hold the bar with the hand, look down your foot, lift the bar, and your leg. Lower straight back down. Lift and lower. In this exercise, you're feeling the bar stay quiet and you're feeling the weight within the bar stay in control. If it moves, it moves. It's always gonna have a little momentum, but I want you to try to control it and feel the work on the inside of that side, building deep internal activation. One more time. Lift up and hold, flex the ankle, turn your toe up just slightly for a little challenge. Well done. Let's rotate other side. Bring your legs over. Position that bottom leg once again straight down your mat. Stay up on top of your elbow and hold the bar. With your back leg come in front, straighten that bottom leg. Holding the bar, flex the ankle. And as you feel that ankle flex, you're gonna notice the bar wanna tilt, lift the leg and the bar together, and come straight back down. This inner thigh activation is not only challenging, it's hard to sustain. Work as long as you can, as hard as you can. Feel that activation, maintain that fluidity where the bar remains and continues to stay parallel to the floor. Elevate. One more time, let's lift and hold. Flex the ankle, turn the toe up just slightly for a little challenge, and lower back down. For the next exercise, we're gonna stand up. Bring yourself behind your mat. Find the lines on the bar, centering your hands. Feet between hip and shoulder distance apart, nice and relaxed. Bring the bar to the shoulders, and then press the bar above the head. This is a side bend. In this core exercise, we are gonna move the weight inside the bar. Let's to the right first. Reach out to the side for that long extension through both arms. Come back up to center. Other side. As you move, feel the deep activation of the muscles controlling that bar. Lift up, and that's taking a little faster. Let's move right. Lift and move left. And as you contract and feel the energy of your body and the bar moving together, you can create a little more range of motion challenging the work. I'm gonna try to go a little further, and I want you to join me. That's the intensity. You can hear the weight move in the bar. Feel the rolling and feel the intensity. Let's do one more each side. Reach across, last one. Come back to the center and bring the bar down. Well done, moving into balance. This is referred to as a kneeling step through. Let's bring both knees on the floor. 
keeping the bar centered on the chest. This is the challenging position for your hands. Holding that position, we're gonna step our right leg forward. That's called a step through. Bring the leg back. Left leg, step forward. Bring the bar back. Now with each step through, right and back, I want you to try to keep the bar centered. And if the movement happens, it's gonna happen. Step through left and back. Last one with the bar centered on the shoulders. And then we're gonna lift the bar above our heads with the same exercise. Hold the bar up, right foot step through, and back. Left foot step through. If you feel the weight moving in the bar, join the club. I am feeling the work. Guys, how you doing? Fantastic. Last one, each leg, and back, up, and come down. Lower your bar and let's come to standing. Front raise, side leg lift. The bar is gonna move forward and the leg's gonna move out to the side. Let's start by lifting the right leg as you lift the bar. Let's do this together. Lift and lower. Switch legs, lift and lower. You're gonna feel the weight move inside the bar. And as it rolls from side to side, your challenge is to stabilize and lift at the same time. Reach out, good. As you continue this exercise, work on lengthening those arms lifting the leg but not your hips, bracing the midsection, challenging the muscles on the thighs, stabilizing and balancing. And let's keep that bar as quiet and as steady as you can. Lift and lower. Big time with that challenge. Let's do three more. Easy up. That's the one. Last time. Feet together. Moving on to our next exercise. Well done. Up. Place now the feet once again a little wider apart. This time we want a strong base of support. Bring the bar centered and hold. Press the bar up. Now, flex the knees so you feel a nice strong center of gravity. We're gonna move the bar off to the right. Hold that side bend. This time what's gonna happen is we're gonna pick up that other leg, hold that contraction on that right side, tap down and lift up, and come back to center. Squat down, let's try the other side. Bar left, leg up. Lift and return, other side. Lift and return. To the left, lift and return. So we're combining a few of the exercises we've already prepared for, working into a nice side bend with the leg lift, feel that contraction, work through that control, little squat to lift, squat. Feel the weight moving in the bar, and recover. Nice job. Whoo, that balance challenge works always. Hands come down. This is referred to as a split lunge squat. In this strength section, right foot forward, left foot back. Place your feet as if you were on a tightrope in line. Bring the bar center on the shoulders and press the arms straight up above the head. With the arms elevated, lower your body slowly towards the ground. Lift straight back up. Lower straight down and lift. Now it seems like a very low level intensity exercise. The longer you're here, you're gonna start to feel the weight moving in the bar and your muscles challenging to hold it, being strength to your shoulders, strength to your torso. Last one, drop down, hold, stay in that split lunge, hold that position, let's bring our feet together and switch legs. Left foot forward, right foot back. Find that tightrope lunge, brace through that midsection, relax the shoulders but keep the arms strong. Lower yourself down and lift. Try to feel your shoulders stay over your hips the entire time. The bar is gonna tell you whether or not you're holding and staying in control. The bar is quiet, the body is moving, and you feel the work on both legs, through your middle and across your shoulders and your back. Two more repetitions. Down, down, down on this last one. Let's come down and hold. Stay centered. Feel those muscles working. Stay in control. Are you with me, guys? All right, step back up, lower the bar, and let's get ready for our next exercise in strength. Reset your hands. Just find the lines once again. In that position, we're moving to something called a forward and reverse lunge. Let's start now with your feet together. And as we step forward, we're gonna bring the bar just to our shoulders and keep it there. Let's step forward with your right foot. Drop into that squat, lift up, and step back. Lunging back, hold that deep squat, lift up, and step forward. In this forward and reverse lunge, the, boy, the weight inside the bar is gonna be moving, and our bodies, trying to transition from front to back, are gonna be challenged to maintain that strength. Lift, step forward, lift, and let's step back. One more on this leg, elevate, Drop in, lift, return, and come back to center with both feet. Left leg's gonna move forward. Together, pick up that left foot, lunge forward. 
drop, lift and reverse back. Each time that body has to transfer weight forward and transfer weight back, the torso is gonna wanna be challenged to keep its upright posture and you're gonna feel that inside the bar. Keep that bar steady and you know your muscles are gonna continue to work. Let's do one more, smooth, perfect and in control. Drop down, lift up all the way back and let's bring our feet together. Last exercise, it's called a corkscrew. Let's start with the ball all the way to our left side. Drop those hips a little bit. Now, we're gonna bring the bar up and rotate it all the way across our body as we step out, swinging the bar all the way to the outside, come back center, and feet together with the bar returning. Together, let's work up and back. Rotate, feel the weight moving in the bar, and feel yourself Start to create strength and momentum. Turn, twist, and return. One more. Come back center and switch the lead in. Bar past the right side, stepping out to the left. Bar up, let's rotate. Turn and corkscrew back. It's reaching and almost feeling like you're generating force and power at the same time as trying to maintain control. So the beauty of the weight rolling in the bar Challenges those muscles. Woo, one more time. Big rotation. Come back to center and return. Well done. That was cycle three. Core, balance, and strength. Well done. Hi, my name is Robert Sherman, and welcome to Teaching Excellence. There are three keys to success in teaching the active motion bar training system. The first key is great cueing. Tell, show, and do. When you tell participants where to place their bodies, it always helps them get oriented first. After telling them where to put their body, you then explain to them where you want them to place the bar. That allows them to execute each exercise properly and with control. Next, show them where to go. Demonstrate the exercise with the participants so they can see you and feel the benefit and the movement of the bar together. Lastly, do. Have your participants continue to work through the exercises. Walking around the room allows you to actually correct alignment, stay in control of the movement, but it also gives you an opportunity to progress or regress every exercise. Progressions allow for challenges. So many participants feel, where's my next step? How do I get stronger? This is an opportunity to expand on what you've already created. A regression is not always a negative. As a matter of fact, a regression helps people maintain control and most importantly, feel successful. Understanding success with movement is really the key to execution and feeling strong and benefits everyone. Next, how to cue the active motion bar. When teaching with the bar, there are three simple ways to use the bar. Effectively, using the lines to place your hands on top allows you to create symmetry for your body and the bar itself and creates a nice balance in the bar. When we create the bar or using movements with the bar, the idea is simple. If the bar is still, I'm trying to find a way to control my body and the bar is one. So I'm going to step back with one foot, holding this position. When I lower my body and lift, any imbalance in my body, I will feel in the bar. Moving up and down, I feel the weight rolling in the bar, and my job is to stabilize it and work in control. My body already understands this, but it's a nice feedback mechanism. It gives me assessment. It also allows me to feel stronger as I create movement. The second way we use the bar is to integrate it with our body's movement pattern. If I lower into a just split lunge, lift my body to one leg, press the bar overhead, it creates a nice synergistic movement. So the bar, my body, and the weight inside the bar have to work together as a team. This creates an overall total body integration and a create movement process. The third and last way is all about force and momentum. With the bar, you're gonna feel the weight rolling from side to side. This challenge allows muscles to activate and prepare for when you feel the weight hit the end, you know that your muscles have to engage, stabilize, and work. Going through greater range of motion allows for more challenges built in. Three ways to use the bar effectively and create great challenges. Teaching the program is also referred to as disruptive training. Our program disrupts, discovers, and defines. Disruption is another way of saying muscle activation. Corrective movement patterns allow for the body to learn control, 
while focusing on precision. Disruption means that the bar itself is giving feedback, allowing for the muscles and the body to work together as a team so that I can learn quickly which side is strong and which side of my body needs more attention. It automatically creates the awareness and creates the strength to discover. Another way of saying discover is to integrate the movements. I showed you earlier the progressive lift with the bar. Integration is a way to discover how the body can create seamless transitions for movement with or without the bar, but the bar itself is gonna feel the rolling weight inside challenging how I control my movements and increase my range of motion. That total body integration builds on a sense of muscular control that I wanna to continue to reinforce. Lastly, is to define. Defining my body and defining my intention is truly reacting to work. Reaction is created with the bar, with the weights moving, and the momentum and the bar and the weights moving together creates a definition that allows me to create force and allows my body to control it each and every movement pattern. So even when I was moving my arms overhead, my body had to learn how to control that energy, define my intention of bringing the weight back up without losing control of my movement. This truly creates more load for the body, creates definite strength that you've never felt before. This idea of movement, weight, and disruption is at the heart of our training system. The workout is done in cycles. Cycles roll from core to balance to strength. The idea of building core muscle first really establishes a foundation. It's progressive in that once that foundation is laid, we can then add on to it. Once the body knows how to move well, it can always do more. The conscious effort of building that strength lays the groundwork for good stuff to come. The second cycle is all about balance. If I can work with two feet, my next challenge is to be able to be on one. Balance confronts us every day of our lives, functionally and in sport, always with performance. The idea of balance is nothing new, but the balance in a reactive setting changes the environment, which also changes how my muscles react. The next progression from there is now that I have balance and I have a foundation to work from, can I actually build more challenges within? This is now where the idea of momentum and working towards more strength orientation becomes the key. Strengths, force, and intensity. These are the keys to actually feeling successful in programming. The idea that we've laid a foundation is great. It establishes good quality movements and corrects some of the things that I've been dealing with for a long time in muscles and in my body. The second to establish balance builds symmetry for my body, taking my work from one side to the other, never having a chance to compensate or feel as though that my body is now able to handle more. The last piece is once I know how to move well, I can always do more. So that is the key and the trigger to the set. Ultimately, the idea of building through a disruptive training system allows for corrective movement, total body integration, and I, being able, the process of being able to add force through momentum. My working muscles will always have the ability to have gains in strength, stability, and performance. Our goal with the Active Motion Bar is to disrupt what we've known, change how we feel, and create stronger, more fit bodies.